Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going to do another segment on this barn renovation that I'm doing. I am part way through, you can see behind me right here, I'm part way through putting some of the ceiling panels in. These are steel panels uh, going up for the ceiling. If you've been watching my videos, we've been paying attention to this. Uh, I'm going to take a few clips here and post another video on my progress. Hope you like it. Okay, so before I show you what I had to do with the lighting and what I had to do with my lift. Actually, I think I showed you the lift in the last video. The lift is down here. But uh, I'll show lifting a panel up here in just a minute. But this is what this is going to look like. And there's no lights under here yet because those screw-in fixtures that I had, I had to actually remove them and rewire them so the rest of the lights would work. And if you can see up there, let me just zoom in here real quick. The fixture is still up there, but it's just kind of hanging by the wires. And the idea is when I get this row here finished, you can see I stopped here. I need to finish this, uh, this is the third row. So when I finish this row, that row of lights will be covered up. So I'll go up there with the ladder and I'll cut holes in there. And again, Instead of putting the screw in fixtures back in, I'm going to put in uh, receptacles and all my materials right here. So these receptacles are here. I've got the metal covers for them and I've got all 20 amp, uh, good commercial quality, which is what I've been using in this building the entire time, um, 20 amp receptacles. And it's going to basically be like what I have here. And if this is too bright, I apologize, but I'll put a receptacle in. And then these shop lights, which are real bright, I've used those over my workbench here for the last, about the last year. And here's the stack of them. This is going to go in here for the lighting for the building uh, when I get the ceiling in. So that's what it's going to look like. Let's climb up there and take a look. Okay, we're up here up top in the attic section now. And similar to my last video, you can see what this looks like up here starting to come together nice and I wanted to show this is you can't obviously see how much force I'm putting on this but this is really sturdy here and I had my doubts being a four foot span between these trusses as to whether I could put 12 inches of insulation up here without the panel sagging and I can say with no level of uncertainty that that's going to be just fine now um, these things are real real sturdy Another thing I want to mention here, and I had this forethought when I put the building in and I did the wiring, you can see right here, this wire that I'm following here, all the wires are stapled up on the top halves of the two by fours and there's nothing down within the first two inches um, anywhere in the building. So I bought one inch screws to go through the panels and when I put those screws in there, you know, they're gonna come up about this high and there isn't gonna be any wiring anywhere that I can hit here so should be free sailing I kind of mark these out as I go and uh, I should be good to go here so each panel that I put in I double check obviously but uh, I should be in good shape now for right here let me just go forward here a little bit that light fixture that's there the two wires that are there what I'll end up doing and I'll get a video of this is I'll take that fixture completely out I'll, I'll cut the breaker out and uh, I'll drill a hole right down in here on the other side of that truss and what we'll do is we'll poke those wires down through there and I'll put a guarding up so that the wires don't get chafed up but we'll, we'll mount the receptacle box underneath there and essentially two lights two of those shop lights will go on to uh, turn around here again two of those shop lights will go in each receptacle so instead of having 10 lights in this building I'm gonna have 20 and instead of them being this compact fluorescent that I have in here that I've had temporarily the entire time, they're gonna be the LED shop lights. And these CFLs here, uh, let me get the specs on those and show you what the difference is. Okay, so everywhere else in the building, I actually have compact fluorescent lights and are a little bit different than this, but this is a single light bulb that is in other places that I, that I have here. And just looking on the side of here, this is a, they say the 800 LM, that stands for lumens. That's the amount of light that comes out of a light bulb. So 800 lumens on one of these. And if I come over here, you can read this, it's kind of upside down here, but you see it's 4,200 lumens. 
So almost five times as much light is gonna come out of one of these versus one of those individual fixtures. And I'm going to double the amount of lights actually in the building. So there is gonna be a lot of light in here when we're done. So uh, time to put another panel up right here. So let's get the steel onto the lift and I'll show you how that looks. All right, first thing I gotta do is take this blanket off here. Um, had the blanket on here because I actually banged myself into the corner of this the other day. It really hurt quite a bit. We're just going to grab one of these panels off of here. And I bought these in 13 foot length. So the trusses are 4 foot on the center. Which makes this overlap the trusses by a ways. But it's still light enough for me to handle them by myself. So bring them up here. drywall but we're going to show how we lift this thing in place okay i'm just going to crank this thing up here now this drywall lift has a bunch of notches in the side here so as we go up in like one or two foot implement in increments you'll hear this thing click and it's kind of locking into place in case this cable were to give way it wouldn't let it come crashing down on us so what i'm going to do in here is making sure all the lights are out of the way Get it close and we'll get it about where we want it, which is lined up with the panel next to it, really close. And bring it up there quite close. And then I've been just taking this long garden hole here and kind of Lining the ribbing up where it goes on either side. And this takes just a minute to get it lined up where you want it to go. And push it right up into place where we want it. And again, line that rib up like that. <coughs> and that's pretty darn close to where that one's going to go. And we'll, again, we'll just make sure that it's up there where we want it, just like that, and then our stand is straight up and down this way, and straight up and down this way, so this thing's not on an angle, it's not going to want to tip over or anything, and that's going to hold that in place. What I'll do is I'll put a couple screws in this end and a couple screws in this end to hold it there, and then we'll take the lift out of the way, and I'll go ahead and mark all the holes out and put the rest of the screws in. One of these screws first. And we'll put in one somewhere in the somewhere in the middle there in a second. Like maybe like put one like close to the end, maybe? I'm gonna put, I, I put one in the corner right here. That way when I go to the other end, I can still move that plate this way if I have to. If I put two screws in here, then I can't move it anymore. And I wanna run at least two screws down the side of this. Are you filming or no? You are? So two screws down the side of this right here, that'll set me up straight to make sure that I'm going straight. And then I can come back and put two more screws in and then take the lift out of the way. Oh. Lower this down a little ways. We'll get it out of the way of our ladder. Both of our ladders. A lot of playing around with this room in here. To make sure we don't hit anything. I'm just going to bring this back down to a safe level and move it out of our way. You can stay right there with the camera mark. Just look around you here, buddy. We'll move that out of the way. And now we've got four screws holding that panel in place. Now we can just kind of run the rest of the screws in. 
So one more thing I want to show you before we end this video is these are two by fours up here in these trusses that are sitting up. So I have an inch and a half to hit. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I've missed probably two or three of them so far where I've had to pull the screw back out and move it over to the side and uh, to hit that two by four. But for the most part, we're doing pretty good because what I like to do is put a screw in on one end and put a screw in on the other end. And then in the middle here is where you kind of look and you go, eh, I'm not really sure where to put a screw at. So what I've been doing is lining it up with a straight edge on both ends. And then just take a little marker and come in here and just put a dot where I want the screws to go. And it doesn't mark up the ceiling too bad where you can't see a whole bunch of dots and lines from the floor, but at least gives me a guide to put the screws in uh, so I don't miss the, the two by fours. So now I've got my dots up here and you probably can't see them on the video, but now I can just come in here and know I'm gonna hit where I want to hit so that's it I'm gonna put the rest of these screws in this panel and tonight like I said I wanted to do about four panels a night tonight's probably only gonna be two panels and then the lights actually I gotta come through and, and like I said drill these holes and put the receptacles in I'll get a couple of those done and I'll show you guys in the next video how that turned out and I hope you like it and I'll see you next time